All right, so we're back here at Gamer Tag Radio. We we have a special guest, and uh, we can you introduce yourself and tell us what is it that you do? My name is Sebastian Bloch. I'm CEO at the Sobo Studio, uh, co-founder also. We are based in France, Bordeaux, and I'm very much looking at uh, physics, simulations, uh, rendering, technology, all these topics. Yeah, tell us how, how was the work like compared to the, the previous project? Like how much change we're going to get to see now with 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 this game now? I think, physics. Yeah, things are accelerating, right? We're always trying to build upon we already what we already have. Uh, you've seen it's uh, 42 years now of flight saving, and uh, it's getting better and better. And the team is getting faster and faster. Technologies are also enabling more and more things, and so yeah, we're seeing a lot of improvements on 2024. And how has it been adapting what you've already built in Flight Sim 2020 and then updates in 2022 on the same hardware and now asking it to do so much more? Um, I think we were just not using 100% of the capabilities, right? We were, there's, I mean, there's now so many parallel processors and, and things can do, um, you know, parallel CPUs, uh, cores, and uh, we have optimized algorithms that we already had. We have moved stuff to the cloud, and we're using better, to basically doing better usage of the other cores. Um, for example, the um, the CFD computation, right, which is very expensive, doing all the airflow around the airplane, uh, was doing was done by one core just uh, before, and now uh, it's as many as you have. So if you have twenty cores, it's going to be twenty, right? So that's twenty times faster, um, and uh, and uh, so it can do a lot more detail. And it doesn't impact whatever uh, performance or frame rate user experience anymore. So yeah, and, and also uh, weather change too. Like uh, I noticed that the trees, uh, the even certain locations, like changes colors depending on the like the weather. Now, is there, um, let's say, it's like a big storm, hurricane? Is that also going to affect uh, not only like the, the the area, like the land, but also, I'm talking about like, like trees and stuff like that too. Yeah, they will move with the wind depending on the force and direction. Mm -hmm. You will see the grass move. You will see the clouds, the rain. So it's it's gonna feel like a storm, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and you also clouds. How much movement we're gonna get to see that compared to like the previous one? Because I remember uh, playing in uh, I think it was like a hurricane in in Florida, and I was just curious. I'm like, oh, let me fly in real time just to experience that. And it was chaotic, so I can imagine now with this new change, we're yeah. probably gonna get to see a lot. Yeah, so so especially in storms, like when the clouds were were um, dense, you know, um, um, the 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 highest density we had in twenty two was not that much. You could still see through. They were not that dark, and so now we have updated this. I showed you a picture right during the presentation. It can get a lot more dense, a lot more thick uh, thunderstorm clouds. So yeah, storms will be uh, one level one level above twenty twenty. How do you balance the trade-off between wanting to make this as photorealistic as possible just to give people complete immersion in the sim, but also making it approachable for people who maybe don't have the capability of mastering like huge weather challenges or who, who might have maybe, let's say, vision deficits? Like, Is there anything that you do to consider um, accessibility and approachability when you're going for max technical prowess? Um, yeah, so 2020 already had a lot of accessibility options. We, 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 I mean, the first thing you saw when you booted up, there was this start button, I think, or continue something. There was accessibility right at the beginning. So we, we, we went further in that area. And also the, the, I think make it easy to get in because I, I would say, um, it can be scary, you know, to have all these buttons in the cockpit and what does this do? So we have, we've, implemented so many different ways to get into this without having to get through all the process of learning. You know, you can, even in the most um, difficult mode, which is free flight, you can spawn anywhere directly in the air. Uh, everything is started, the plane is already flying, all you do is buzz around, so you can have that in that mode. But we also have, a, uh, in 2024, we added this uh, photographer mode, where you're also starting in the air and, and you're really more focused on, hey, let's take a focus of this mount, a uh, photo of this mountain or something. Um, you... You explore the world and you don't have all the complexity to manage. You can still learn. Um, the, the career mode uh, lets you really start, get one step at a time into flying with a very easy flame to fly in, like 172. Uh, so that's a way to, to, I would say, learn a little bit more, um, do interesting missions without, and you can choose, right? You can stay always simple, easy planes, do, do easy stuff. You don't have to go airliner or anything. So it's, we, we, we just try to add more, way more ways to get into the sim 
and enjoy it without having um, to, to, to go through the, the learning at the beginning. And many people, um, I would say, dev will develop an interest and curiosity, and then they will just learn. But when it's fun, you know, I think you learn faster and you just, you just discover and want to know more. Um, but yeah, we've added so many ways to get into this. Yeah, I, I know people probably listen to this like, oh my God, this probably is a big file. Yes, I'll use the crowd, but like how much of a file size are we going to get to experience? Like, let's say the game comes out for the first time. I'm downloading it guys before. It was like a hundred, over a hundred gigs, right? So what is the difference between the old version and, and now this one with, with the cloud? Yeah, so it's it's getting bigger and bigger and we wanted to make it smaller. So that's the thing. It's just we um, we were limited right now with the old system. Um, because we wanted to add more and more detail and more and more realism. And um, at some point, it doesn't fit anymore. And, and whether it's the drive or just download time, people don't want to spend hours downloading. So we moved everything to the cloud. Now the initial install download is very short and everything only loads when you see it. So when you come close to an airport, um, there's, there's you know many different level of details. And very often you don't see the highest one at all. We only download what you see at the level, at the minimum really you need to dis be displayed. I don't know if you know, like graphic cards, when there's a texture, like 4K texture, they have what they call MIP maps. So they have a 4K version, they have a 2K version, 1K, you know, and maybe 10 different ones. We will only load 256 if we need, don't need 4K because it's way too far away and you don't even see the 4K. And all that's computed in the back end. Like while somebody's running in the sim, that's happening in real time. It's always streaming in the yeah. The, it's parallel. You don't see it. It's happening in in the background, and stuff just loads in while you're flying or while you're exploring the world map uh, when it's when it's needed. That's amazing. So during the presentation today, you showed some of the differences between 2020 textures and 2024, uh, especially in the ground and the terrain and how a surface that was previously maybe smooth and easily navigated would be a little bit rougher and might cause some damage to a plane or it might be a little bit uh, more tricky to navigate. What are some other changes in the actual gameplay can people expect um, from 2022, sorry, 2020's version to 2024 with this additional textures, with additional technical capabilities that have been added? Mm -hmm. So yeah, the, the water, for example, is now full 3D. So um, the waves, you really feel shock, each wave. And uh, it's very important to pay attention to how high they are, uh, what direction the wind is blowing. And so uh, you, you know, in real life, when you fl land an air uh, water plane, I've done it a few times, you, you never just go in, right? You fly over a few times, you watch for branches, people, mm -hmm. and, uh, and waves, direction, height, where they are, and you try to land uh, in, the, in the right direction. Um, so yeah, you need to do that now exactly in the sim uh, because it affects... Like you're going to be bumped around yeah. or you're not going to be able to take off again if you are not uh, on um, too high waves or something. Um, and on the on the ground, um, well, it's going to uh, affect the way you, uh, the speed, right? When, uh, um, when you do a go around, a go around is basically you, um, uh, no, a touch and go is you, you land and you take off again. Um, or if you just take off on a grass strip, um, the number of bumps is going to affect the speed at which you can go and uh, the max speed. So if it's very bumpy, you may not even be able to go fast enough to even take off or just the acceleration. You, it may take so long to accelerate that you run out of field, right? And so that uh, in 2020 was not existing at all. It was just flat and grass, a little bit of bumps. Um, but uh, now it's very different. Uh, so you obviously airports, which are grass, they have they flatten it. But if you want to land on a random field or something, you need to check out if it's flat enough. So that affects the, it, it, you have to build a landing strategy, right? Um, one thing we learn when we fly is we do a lot of um, emergency landings. So one of them is when you lose your engine. Okay, you don't have lots of choice. You, you pick whatever, right? But uh, a lot of cases is um, you, do, you still have your engine, but you need to land in a field. Because whatever, so some, maybe you, you have a fuel leak and you can only do 10 more minutes or the engine is overheating, you can still fly, but only 10 more minutes. You can't make the next runway. In that case, we still fly over the field one or two times to make sure, okay, now actually land here or no, maybe let's pick another field. So that you will do now because you will see all these bumps or maybe it's a, you know, how, how do you say, a plowed field and it's all, yeah, you can't land in there. And so uh, that was not at all something in 2020 that's really the case i think that's that's really affecting gameplay in terms of how on the ground 
I mean, we did many other changes for gameplay, but on specifically on the ground, that's that's the kind of things you can expect. Yeah, uh, today when I was you know playing, I uh, I wanted to test it out. I'm like, all right, let me go to like a random place that is not popular. You know, sometimes when we get to see like updates, it's always like the big cities. Oh, yeah. So I went to Dominican Republic, uh, east side of Dominican Republic, just to see how it is. And I was very impressed, like the the look, uh, like the houses compared to the previous game too. Mm -hmm. I was very very impressed on that. So like, so let's say I go to like a um, other countries you probably haven't updated yet. Are we gonna see a lot of difference? Is it gonna be similar? Or and also, what type of updates are we gonna get to see in the future of like more locations that is not available yet? So so just moving to twenty four, you get completely new vegetation. Because the trees are 3D, there's many more species, they have seasons. Uh, the whole ground vegetation is is new. There's cornfields, there's grass, there's bushes, trees, there's even dead wood on the on the ground. We have rocks, right? We have many different types of rocks. Um, the ground materials, it leaks I mean, I would say it looks completely completely different, right? It's the same tree, maybe. I mean, the trees in the same place, there's the same beach and there's the same forest. But they look completely different, right? It's it's a complete upgrade of visuals and 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 how they feel when you fly over, um, and uh, that's that's gonna be everywhere, right? Wherever you, whether there's new data or not, it's always gonna be look be looking completely, uh, I mean, completely new generation of visuals. I think in the first one, um, if I fly in the, like through the city, I'll see activity, maybe like a little car. Are we gonna get to see that too? Um, let's say I go to New York City, are we gonna see? movements or anything it was just the, the yeah so we we uh redid a new engine for uh, uh, moving cars so that's been completely rebuilt and uh we did an engine also for parked cars so there's a lot of parked cars oh there you go, go. Times square Times square a lot of parking there <laughs> New York. yeah cool awesome anything else? yeah um now what was your what was the, the thing that you've learned about working on this project like maybe a place that you never been there before. Was there anything that you learned throughout the process of developing this game, a, a location? I mean, it's a project over the in 2020 and 2024. I really love because we learn every day. There's always something new. Um, aviation is all about learning. Like I think there's a saying which says a pilot always learns, even when you are like a retired airline pilot, you always learn something new. But it's it's true in the same right because we do new type of aircraft, we do balloons, we do new type of activities, and we really do it seriously, right? When we, for example, there's a activity where you have a parachute, right? You have a plane, people come in and you fly up and they jump. And then you go back down and you, you pick up people. And so we actually work with people who do, do that as a job. That's their job, they explain it, why, how it works, what you do, what you're trying. So they basically get paid by the circuit. And so their goal is to go as fast as possible. So they will go up fast, down fast, up fast, down fast to pick as many people as they can. Uh, whereas other people will have other, you know, goals, right? And they explain, he explained us how he can be faster, what he does in terms of where, how he flies and the performance, how he goes down. All these little details we didn't know. And, uh, and we learned by talking to them. Same for firefighting, same for everything, same for everything. I'm going to ask this question to, to the team, but, uh, what is your, your favorite activity in, in, in this game for you? Um, out of the new activities uh, in the, the career? The new, the new, new activities. Uh, I really like the, the banner advertisement. Oh, yeah. And why, is, why is that? I really like it. You have, to, you have to go pick it up. That's not that easy, right? So you have to be super accurate, come pick it up. And then, okay, flying along the beach, and I was watched back. Oh, it's there. And you have to drop it. Oh, you also have to drop it. You have it. to drop it. You have to fly over where the people, so there's people waiting for you, and you have to, to drop it, and it falls down, and then you can land. And so I think it's very rich. You know, you pick it up, drop it, go to the right place. You have to fly the right way, otherwise people can't read whatever it says. And uh, the text on the banner, it is local. So... It's, uh, um, for example, um, uh, if there's a beach and there's a, a village and it's going to say beach party at name of that village, it's, it's really very local to, you can, you can start the career any way you want and the missions you get are going to feel like they are here, right? The, the names of people, the name of 
whatever's on the banner, the name of the companies or the planes or all the stuff. It feels like, oh, this is this is here. Oh, wow, that's, that's cool. Yeah, because I, I used to live in Miami, so I, I used to see that a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sometimes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, very cool, man. No, but thanks thanks for the interview, and uh, I'm very excited about the project. Like, I I uh, played, my first flight sim was in 2020. I started in console and then uh, started playing PC. Mm-hmm. Very huge difference, but uh, I can't wait to play this one. Man. Okay, awesome. It's, it's a really uh, great experience, man. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.